Hi Aquarius, welcome to your late December 2020 reading. You guys know these readings are timeless and signless, so you need not have Aquarius placements in your chart at all to resonate with this video, and you don't actually have to be accessing this um, in December 2020. Also, it is late December 2020, and please know that the energies are still going to be in effect, in effect during January or just whenever, okay? So technically, it's not late. <laughs> anyway, um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, just check uh, the links that I do have on this page, whichever platform you're looking at, and eventually you will find my Etsy shop. That is where I conduct my business, so just go ahead and um, yeah, check there. Uh, please do know that I am currently up to a maximum of two weeks for the readings. They need not be done in that time frame, but anyway, all of the readings have a two-week grace period except for the 48-hour one, okay? Anyway, let's jump in. So if this reading is for you, Aquarius, I'm definitely getting some new energies. Wow, look at how the cards wanted to come in. Um, at an angle. Well, I'm also getting some uh, Roman Catholic energies as well. So uh, there is some type of divine connection, whoops, for those uh, within the, or, or you don't even have to be within the Roman Catholic faith, but I do feel that there is a connection going on. Oh, for somebody, there's a love connection with somebody who has a Roman Catholic, Catholic heritage is what I'm getting, okay? So let's go ahead and see what this is, and then we'll see why we have that card at the bottom. This is such an Aquarian card in my mind. I don't know why. <laughs> this knowledge. I'm definitely getting that uh, for those of you who are um, attracted to this reading, uh, you definitely have within you the ability to know just what needs to be done and how it needs to be done in order to better yourself. I'm getting for some of you this is relating to dietary needs, so you may already know how to improve your diet. So get on it right for a lot of the rest of you a lot of you in general um this could also be about needing knowing how to take care of yourself in the physical world so i'm seeing like buying a new car i'm seeing doing things like that that um may usually stymie other people just because of the process uh, i'm also seeing uh, spiritually speaking how to they're saying make amends yeah, so also making amends in the physical, they know how to do that. You know what they're saying? It's almost like they slip that in. It's like, hey, Aquarius, you know how to do all these other things. So don't try to act like you don't know how to say I'm sorry. <laughs> what is this about? <laughs> right? So you guys are getting trolled right now by Spirit on this call. So Spirit actually told me as I was... Um, pressing the on button that this is a time sensitive reading time sensitive in the sense of when you watch it if whenever you watch it and whenever it resonates you're in a time sensitive situation where maybe it would behoove you to get on to get into doing whatever it is that they are kind of pointing out to you so if there's an apology that needs to be made or something like that i would suggest that you go ahead and do that um, they're saying it you'll feel better is what i'm seeing they're saying that you'll feel better now this card felt a little bit like love earlier, but as I'm looking at it here, it's definitely love, cosmic heart, cosmic Christ. But also I'm getting this energy that you need to learn how to trust, okay? So, whew, I had to breathe in on that one. You need to learn how to trust. If you're attracted to this reading, one of the issues that you are having in life is that you don't know how to trust and you don't know when to trust, okay? Because it's like maybe you are trusting people, but you're trusting the wrong people. But I'm seeing a lot of this, uh, see how my hands are getting all nervous like? like <laughs> um, this is because it's going back to your childhood. So going back to a childhood that where maybe you were trusting the wrong people. I'm just seeing some shoplifting going on for somebody here. So hanging with the wrong crowds, trusting the wrong people, thinking that they were doing the next new big thing or they were so like unique, they're eccentric, they're cool, you know, like one of those kinds of things and attracting and, and, and attaching to people who were not part of your destiny in a beneficial way, but were more like part of your destiny, I guess, um, in the sense that they were to be there to show you for however long you needed what it means like to get off the bad the wrong tracks okay so um some of you basically in a nutshell may have been following the wrong crowd trusting the wrong people with your 
health and well-being. They're pointing out health because I do see some drug use, okay? They are saying minor drug use, but if you know that it was major drug use for you, please know that, that for you it was major. But for whatever reason, for somebody here or for some of you here, they're showing minor drug use. Okay, they're also saying, yeah, okay, minor drug use, okay, we get that, but um, major drug use, yeah, you, you want to watch that, you know? And this is not spirit kind of giving a commentary on, upon drug use and what's acceptable and unacceptable. Please, if that's your takeaway, I just want to erase that from your mind right now. Remember that they are, they are channeling and they are saying certain things and specific ways to hit certain people's consciousness in a certain way, okay? So that's why that was needed, and now I'm needed to give this disclaimer because somebody here may be like, oh, they're saying I can just go willy-nilly or spirit is condoning drugs and like, you know, you need to stop with all that, okay? <laughs> so whoever that is, okay? Um, anyway, God bless. Uh, what they're saying is that uh, Yes, you do need to get into this place where you're learning how to trust. So this brings us to the D word and not the fun one, the D word as in terms of the discernment card. So you have to learn how to discern, right? I didn't mean to rhyme there, it just happened. Ooh, now, there we go. The reason why, you notice how this card was kind of hugging this other one a little bit. Um, the reason why this card is here is the spiritual service card. The reason why this card is here is because Spirit is asking you to step into something greater than yourself at this time. Makes sense, we're in a whole new age. You know how the age of Aquarius is. You know how Aquarians are. They're just innovative thinkers. They think outside the box, they think differently. For an Aquarian, there is no box. You know, because if there's a box, and if you're outside of the box, you can still perceive of the box in order to build off of it, right? But here, there is none. It's just like some mystical clouds and they just create structures from nothing. Um, I don't know sacred geometry, like that's not my area of expertise or area of, of focus or study. However, I am picking up that it's almost like um, sacred geography, geography. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe for some of you, sacred geography, but I was going to, what did I say before? Uh, sacred geometry, but also they're including sacred geography as well. So um, basically that would be knowing where on the earth, you know, corresponds to certain magnetic principles, certain sacred energies, all sorts of stuff, you know, ley lines, all of that. So um, those things kind of lend themselves to the Aquarian sensibilities. I'm also getting Piscean sensibilities as well. Anybody else? I was going to say, what about Scorpios? But it feels like, of course, Scorpios can be into it, but it seems like they'd more like want to understand it as a puzzle, like investigate it, like under, whereas Aquarians and Pisces, they just know. <laughs> okay, I hope that makes sense. And it does not mean that others can't quote unquote know it as well. But these are um, principles that lend themselves to just Aquarian sensibilities and Piscean. And, you know, it's kind of like, Somebody's like, oh my God, did you see that crop circle? They're like, yeah, eh, that just means love. You know, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? It just means love. I don't know. I could just tell it just means love. Or, oh, that's just some secret, but we're not meant to know. Wait, what? That sounded so scorpion, scorpion, scorp scorpionic, but that was said in, a, in an Aquarian way. Anyway, um, I'm talking about this because somebody needs to hear it. So yeah, you're on the right track. <laughs> but... Either way, Spirit is saying that, yes, and maybe that has to do with your spiritual service. Boom, there it is. Spirit is saying that in order to continue and to, notice they said continue because some of you are already doing this. Some of you are doing this with water, by the way. Some of you know where the wa where these sacred lines are. These Oh, sorry, this is off camera. Oh, my God. I just stood up so now I can see. Um, sacred service. Some of you know where these sacred um, geographic areas are um, underwater, like on the seafloor, so you'd know where to go. That's so, so specific, <laughs> so specialized and so specific. You know who you are. Now, Spirit is saying in order to continue doing those things, yes, keep going, but they're kind of saying to you to keep it light, okay? So keep, keep it light with the light that you're doing, but also um, they're saying to... Uh, what was they uh, yeah to to hold your center so that's telling me two things number one it's about being grounded staying in a grounded place but actually it's also about being still like this still because what happens is that you become this conduit or conduit conduit <laughs> 
for um, these energies in these symbols and these codes and these whatever to pass through and then to either be made magnified or to or, or to be um, disseminated through whatever means your your spiritual service calls for maybe some of you may be doing artwork and channeling it through that some of you may be um, doing writing some of you may be doing speaking some of you may be doing sacred uh, touch so to so to speak I it felt I almost said sacred self-touch, so that could be included as well. Maybe we're all wondering, well, what does that look like per se? But you know, that in a sense, that gives me this idea of, of um, using those energies to then unlock certain things within your body through self-touch, right? Um, but it's also, I'm seeing that you could be using uh, or disseminating those energies that are coming through you um, through uh, safe touch for other people. So maybe as you're doing their um, sacred body work and whatnot you're kind of clearing out their their energy fields in certain places and then maybe installing right it depends on on what your role is as a sacred teacher and as a um spiritual service person okay so you're gonna know if that's you or not so spirit is there with you okay yeah super specific what is this okay where does this want to go so I'm getting that some of you do have some learning coming in. So some of these things that I may be uh, telling you about at, at 11 minutes and 22 seconds on this call are things that are yet to come. So you'll probably be, probably be like, oh my God, I was thinking about getting into massage therapy or I just picked up this book of mandalas over at the local, you know, stop and shop or you know you'll know if that's for you is what i'm going to say i do also pick up that pick up that some of you are going to be walking this world with a mate now this mate may not be romantic but it very well could be and this person is going to be helping you along your spiritual service journey all right so i'm just getting masculine energies here and feminine energies here so this is an energy it's going to be a little bit of a push and pull a tug and war so um meaning that it may not always be the easiest of relationships but i'm getting that the reason why is because you guys are trying to come together to build something or to allow this energy to come through you but you're also here to keep each other accountable that's why we have the the male and the female masculine and feminine rather the jet biological genders could be reversed right but you see how he's playing he's like he's like receiving the energy so i'm seeing this as somebody receiving the energies this masculine aspect receiving these energies trying to translate them see why he's squinting he's struggling this is my struggle card and then he disseminates them in his own way, whether it's through metallurgy, whether it's through another kind of craft, whether it's through speech, whether it's kind of alchemical and it's very transmutational. And her, on the other hand, she receives it, right? And she grounds this energy, right? So there's there's a lot. So this is why it's beautiful because he can dis, uh, disseminate for the world through his craft and whatnot but something about her helps to ground these energies so that could look like him let's say if you have a practice that could look like him doing the part where he's giving the information and her being the person who does the follow-up with that client or whatnot it could also be about him receiving these energies and her doing the ley lines or doing the grid work so you see this is a teamwork kind of thing i while i was explaining this i did get the question from you guys so somebody asked can both of these be in one person yes of course these could be reflective of your um masculine and feminine uh, capabilities in which case that would just be you but again look at how i just pulled two cards so they're saying yes um it could be one person that could be you embodying these and which is going to be extreme mastery by the way because you could see the mastery because look at how her hand uh, comes up and connects straight to this uh, ball of light right so it looks a little bit like a trophy it's mastery but at the same time they're saying that don't let this be um, don't let this idea that I could do this all by myself put you off the scent of where you really need to be because yes you we all have masculine and feminine polarities but remember we also have um, soul charts which sometimes require another embodied presence they're saying because that embodied other embodied presence that other person can give you an other not another but give you an other embodied experience and that's 
awesome because try being a checks and balance for yourself. It's not gonna work very easily. And then you're trying to depend just on your spirit guides and your angels, which is fine. But if you're having an off day and they're trying to reach you through the ethers and you're like not listening because you're just fed up or you're just in a mood, then who's there to kind of keep you accountable? And that's why we need to have that other bodied um, person or embodied, excuse me, that other embodied um, being, experience, person, all of that stuff. So this is looking like a two-man job. So if you are currently wielding a lot of this by yourself, I just saw 15 minutes and 15 seconds, so this is definitely speaking to some of you here. Whatever your craft is, if you're currently doing it by yourself, I do feel that you may well pick up another person. Look at this. I just split the deck and look what came up. 22. There's that two and two. When I said that, when I saw the 15 and 15, I want to let you know that one and five breaks down to six, a six and six. So that's coordinating. All right. So you just need somebody there to help you. All right. And that's all it is. So if you're in a little bit in ego about that, like I don't want somebody coming in, putting their paw prints all over my work and this and that, you might be very surprised to know that this person might be egoless is what I'm getting. So you're through your eyes of ego, you're seeing somebody possibly coming in and taking control of your thing. However, you have to understand that not everybody is working from your standpoint. This may be somebody who comes in, loves what you're doing, and they're just there to support. And they're like, yeah, let me know how I can help you. 16 minutes and 16 seconds. Let me know how I can help you. That's exactly the kind of person you need because one and six, the 16 goes down to seven. You need somebody seven and seven who's able to bring you into alignment with the spiritual service. Somebody coming in and saying, yeah, what, it is that, what is it that you need? I'm here to help you. They're committed to the cause. And that will remind you to get out of ego because they're not trying to take something from you or control. And if you're an ego, you're already worried about losing control. And that's something that you need to watch. And that, my friends, is a good, good example about how you need somebody else to come in and have that embodied persona so that they can remind you independently of yourself about areas that you need to um, work on so that you can stay focused on your mission. Bec uh, but also it's vice versa. You may be that person for that other person at times, right? Because you saw that, that energy right here because you need, this is like a scanning. This is you, like I can't explain this. I mean, I'm gonna try and explain this, this energy that I'm seeing here, but it's like, this is all the stuff you need to do. This is you scanning the area. But if you're alone doing this, you're gonna, you know, what's to regulate you? So you need somebody who's going straight while you do this. Do you see what I mean? And vice versa. And that's what's very important. So you need someone to help you uh, break down the functions of your spiritual service. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and Spirit is saying that you need to start being thankful now, not indicating that you have not been thankful, not that at all. But they're saying start being thankful now because a lot of gifts are going to be coming in for you. This is great because they're saying there's joy in co-creation. Look at this. Ooh, okay. Look at this um, uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody dedicated to the cause. For some of you, this is coming across as somebody you already have in your sights. See how it's right above her eye? You already have this person in your sights and see how this person is dedicated to the cause. So if you're having a falling out with this person because of this not so easy relationship at times because you both have ego or at least one of you does, um, Spirit is saying, hey, don't let this person go because you need this person for this journey, for this traveling, all right? This is a steadfast person who's definitely going to be loyal to this cause. Now, if not you, like if you guys are romantic and you're like, well, this isn't gonna work romantically, and maybe if both of you decide that, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if you still continue this lifetime doing this job or this um, craft or this spiritual service together, even if you decide to go and build other families. However, I do see here in this Eight of Cups in the reverse, not walking away from this connection. It's either telling you not to walk away or it's saying that you will not walk away, but either way. Um, so if you're watching and you're like, kind of like, oh my gosh, is this person like, upset at me are they gonna walk away I'm just not seeing that however I do see um, these uh, fast moving energies so it's given me this idea that if you have not met this person as yet or you don't have them in their sights that they're coming in pretty hot and heavy oh 
okay, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just delivering a message, okay. Oh, yeah, so this is somebody who may be, again, may be hidden from you or their value may be hidden from you. There's some kind of hidden element and it almost feels like it's something you're not seeing. And But that's because you're coming from this place of low uh, self-worth and just whatnot. They're saying pick that self-worth up, continue to call in who it is that you think you might need for this journey, for this safe journey. They're saying, yes, they're saying if you're just watching and you're having popcorn because you're like, okay, I'm not doing any of that stuff, but I, can I apply it to love? They're saying, yes, go ahead now and make your wish and call in who you would like to have as not as a person, not as a specific person, but qualities that you'd like because this uh, reading has co-creation all over it. This is that teamwork right here. What is this card? This wants to come in. Yeah, the magician card and whatever is here. Yeah, look at this. Uh, the magician, right? Single and independent co-creation, right? So this is a moment where they're asking you, and what is this? Yeah, the defensiveness card. This is a moment where they're asking you to get together with somebody, all right? And there we have this six of pentacles, which is about this um, balanced give and take. They're saying that if you call it in properly, ooh, there's that love card for some of you and the lover's card underneath, which is also about partnership, okay? And also about making decisions. If you call, you know, if you, you sit down and you say, okay, spirit, you may be pushing me towards partnership or you may be in this, in this, um, spiritual contract or in love or whatever and I don't know how I feel about it but if you are making me do this or if whatever this is these are the qualities that I would like to have by my side for this lifetime if you call it in properly if you make it known then you know you get rid of this underlying energy of defensiveness because I am picking up on defensiveness let's go ahead and get rid of it if you get and you know this you know this already that's why it's coming to the knowledge card let's go ahead and get rid of this defensiveness energy <laughs> Um, if you can get rid of that and you call this in the qualities properly, you're going to find somebody who's going to be a great balance between co-creation and, and spirit work, they're saying, and um, you being able to be independent and maintain your uh, independence in a good way. All right. So go ahead. You can take this um, defensiveness. You can write on a piece of paper defensiveness. I'm just getting and you can bury it in the ground. I don't usually do things like that, but this is what's um being given unto you right now as as uh, they're saying oh they're so sweet they're calling it a sacred a sacred burial Ooh, beautiful and look at this earth healing so this is contract you're definitely going to be coming into alignment with somebody 22 minutes 22 seconds just as i said that <laughs> and so um and there's the 11 right here so spirit is giving you a heads up start calling in the qualities that you'd like go ahead and bury as a sacred burial that defensiveness and so it is okay um, okay, guys, if you'd like to reach out to me for a reading, you know where to find me, and you are always welcome. Okay? Mwah.